Hey buddy, it's crazy good time for and welcome back to some more Super Smash Bros. Brawl. In the last episode, we of course went through classic mode as uh, one of my favorites uh, characters in the game, Lucas, and played through on very hard. The uh, the last difficulty we still had yet to even play on, and we I think we did overall pretty decent. I mean, I died two times, but. I didn't get a game, game over, and that's what matters, or continue, whatever. Let me actually compare these scores. Okay, yeah, Fox still did the most. Even though I think he got to continue in his episode, the amount of points that clearing on Intense gives you is unbelievable. It's so much. And Falcon didn't get nearly as many points as Lucas. Sheesh, I don't know why. That's very strange. Anyways, let's go ahead and, well, first off, yeah. We're, today, in today's episode, we're going to be playing through Classic Mode as Mr. Game & Watch. Watch, one of the most obscure characters in the series, um, and you'll see exactly why. Also, that, I mean, <laughs> just from the start, you can tell from if you could even hear that Wii Remote thing. Um, yeah, it was something. So let's go ahead and check out Mr. Game & Watch's palette swaps. Very simple ones, they're literally just colors. So we got uh, the regular black Mr. Game & Watch, we got red, uh, M must I don't know. It's like a mustard kind of game watch. It's a very nasty one. Uh, then we got blue, green, and light blue, and that's about it. The light blue is pretty nice. Um, it's pretty blinding to the eye, <laughs> that's for sure. But it's still one of my personal favorites. I don't know. I just like it a lot. Let's go ahead and uh, get talked about Mr. Game Watch. Um, so Mr. Game Watch is of course a veteran character in Brawl since he is returning from Melee, his first appearance. Um, at first, Mr. Game Watch was indirectly revealed from a leaked copy of the game. However, he was officially confirmed on the Smash Dojo website on March 10, 2008, one day after Brawl was released in North America. So that's interesting. Why was he re why was he not revealed until after Brawl was released? That's kind of strange, if you ask me. I don't know. I mean, what's the point of re revealing characters after the game already came out? I, I don't know, it just doesn't make too much sense to me, personally. I don't know why they actually decided to do that. Um, but yeah, Mr. Game Watch is a very finicky character, as you can see. Um, his moves are very strange and obscure, just like him. Um, but, I mean, overall he's pretty decent. I mean, he's pretty high on the tier list compared to how he was in Melee, because... I don't remember where he was in Melee, but in Brawl, he's number 16 on the tier list. Uh, which... Uh, is like, basically mid-tier? No, it, it is mid-tier. It's literally mid-tier. Game Watch is a mid-tier character in this game. Can I hit him? Hey, it works! That guy, like, never works for me. I don't know why. But I'm glad it was able to work this time. So I'm actually pretty happy about that. Mr. Game Watch, however, is an unlockable character. In order to unlock him, you have to do one of three things. Either play 250 versus matches, clear target smash with 30 different, 30 different characters on any any single difficulty level, or have Mr. Game Watch join a player's party in the Suspect Emissary uh, with the stage Battleship Howard Bridge. And with the exception of the third method, Mr. Game Watch must then be defeated on Flat Zone 2. Which is his home stage. Fought him on fought him on that stage many times already in classic mode. Alright, and with that, let's go ahead and talk about Game Watch's uh neutral or special moves. Well, we have his first special move, the neutral special, Chef. <laughs> a pretty simple and self-explanatory move. He kinda just like flips a flying or uh, cooks with a frying pan and shoots out uh, pancakes, flaming flaming pancakes from that did I say I said pan. Yeah, I said pan. Sorry. He shoots out pa uh, flaming pancakes from his pan. And it does damage with- <gasps> Fine, we're fine. We're chilling. Yeah, he killed- got killed with Chimera. That worked far better than I anticipated. Um, the pan itself, of course, does damage. Um, I think that- yeah, it does a little bit more damage than the food itself. But for some odd reason, I've always thought the food he shot out was like fish. For some reason, I thought it was fish. I don't know. I may be thinking about Smash 4, because I think in Smash 4 it's fish. But it seems like in Brawl it's pancakes. Well, I guess the more you know, huh? Nice. Good stuff, good stuff Game & Watch. Um, and it's a good move for edge guarding. So that's, I guess that's a plus side. So it does 5% for the pan, and 4% for the food. Then we got a side special, which is Judge. Now, Judge is a very, very interesting move. Because it's a move where the damage... 
and what you get is it varies uh, because it's kind of like a roulette. Game Watch pulls out a, a hammer and he hits and there's a number on top of the hammer or that he holds up and the more the higher the number essentially the more it will do with one doing like barely any damage and also you know hitting game watch himself with nine doing the most amount of damage and the most amount of knockback and easily being the most effective but also the more the most rare one out of all the numbers um so judge i believe is going to have yep it has a, a table I'm a, i might as well just talk about each of them so, Judge number one uh, does 2% damage, weak hit, no knockback, causes 12% recoil damage, so pretty, pretty bad to get that one. Uh, number two does 4%, another attack with weak knockback has a 20% chance of tripping the opponents, so that, I guess that's, a, that's sort of a plus. Uh, three, number three does 6%, another weak, knockback, another weak knockback attack, although this one causes significant shield damage, opponents are launched backwards towards Mr. Game Watch. Uh, number four does eight percent, a slashing attack that launches foes diagonally forward. Uh, number five does, it's a multi-hitting move, which is three percent on hits one through four, an electric attack that hits multiple times. Number six does twelve percent, a flame attack that semi spikes has the second strongest knockback out of all judge attacks. You would expect number eight to have the second strongest, but surprisingly, it's number six. Number six has the second most KO potential out of all of them. Second to number nine, of course. Uh, number seven does 14% a moderate knock a moderate knockback attack that produces an apple if it hits a foe. The apple then heals 4% damage. Uh, number eight does 9% a freezing attack with low knockback. And of course, finally, number nine does a whopping 32%. So a real big difference from all the other numbers. If I can get number nine, that'd be awesome. Oh my gosh, I freaking get it, and of course I miss a fit. That's all. That's that story of my life right there. Um, a very, very high knockback attack that was designed to be similar to the home run bat. This attack uh, has huge KO potential, being able to KO opponents at small percentages. The attack does, however, have a smaller hitbox. The the main problem with the move with number nine is that it's not because of the hitbox itself, but it's simply just due to the fact that it's it's really rare to get. And if you you never know when you're gonna get it, and sometimes you will probably miss with it. There was a thing in like Smash 4 where I don't know why, but like most of the time when you would do this, you would usually get number nine like right afterwards. But if you do a down throw into into Judge, you would like usually get number nine or something. It's not gonna. I don't think it works. Yeah, it doesn't work as well in Brawl because after the down throw, they kind of just like fall to the ground. Although combo with the pan, I would love to show off nine so much. But I don't know how well it's gonna work. Just because of how rare it is. See that yeah, that was number one right there that did a, a whopping 12% to me. Number seven, got an apple. Very nice. Ah. Come on, Peach. Let me hit Oh my gosh, I had it too. Just die. Just die. Alright, then we got uh, Game Watch's up special, which is fire, where Game Watch jumps upward on a trampoline and then falls slowly in a parachute. The parachute can then be interrupted by just doing any attack. So I'll just show it off right here. Boom, and then just do any attack and the parachute just goes away. The move can actually, the I think the, um, the trampoline can be stepped on by opponents. Yeah, it, if you're if they're in the vicinity of when he does the move, to the point where they don't get hit, they will just be launched up a little bit with the trampoline. And yeah, that's basically the whole idea behind Judge. Simple as that. Um, yeah, like like I mentioned, opponents. Yeah, okay. <laughs> that's that, that that sorry, that's not Judge. That's fire. And a six percent uh, for its damage. Then we got his down special, which is Oil Panic. Very, probably his mo one of his most obscure moves, if anything. Although, at the same time, it is pretty, like, um, n not obscure, since a lot of characters have moves that are, I guess, sort of similar to this. Also, wait a second. I'm, like, walking in, and I just fall through. That's strange. Game Watch is a very weird character. <laughs> but I kind of like it for being weird. It's, it's kind of nice. We got a very interesting uh, character added to the roster, and it's cool. Okay, get Pit, I would love you for you to die. Ah, seven, fine. I'll take a seven. I didn't even get an apple from it. What kind of bullcrap is that? 
All right, his down special risk, which is Oil Panic. He puts out a bucket in front of him and absorbs any projectiles. I think... I wonder if it's any projectiles or it has to be energy projectiles. My guess is that it's energy projectiles, but I think any projectile will work. I could be very mistaken about that, so like, don't quote me on it. Um, and this is basically it. He holds out a bucket, and once he gets three bars uh, in, filled in his bucket, if you do the move again, he will then um, shoot out like this big like thing of oil, and the oil does a good amount of knockback um, and damage as well. In Smash Four, however, it uh, I know I don't know why I'm talking about Smash Four so much in this Let's Play, but in Smash Four, I believe it's cons I'm pretty positive it's actually like an instant kill if you hit with it. It's pretty crazy, but I'm pretty sure it's an instant kill in that game. So I guess that's something, which is pretty nice. Which is a little bit better about game and watching that game. But we're talking about Brawl. We're gonna leave it <laughs> for now. We're gonna be talking about Brawl. Um, so for the damage, it does 8% to 60% uh, with a 2.8 times multiplier. I wonder what that means by multiplier. So I guess it depends on the move or whatever. I guess it depends on the moves he like, um, he absorbs. That must be it. That's gotta be it. And apparently there's this thing called Bucket Break that he can do where he eliminates all knockback momentum at the time the move was used. So I guess if you are get, if you gain a lot of knockback with the Game & Watch and use the, his down beat and he just like breaks all his knockback. Which is honestly a pretty good technique. Not gonna lie. I want to show off uh, Oil Panic a little bit, but the only character that can, that can help me show it off. There we go. See, I absorbed one little thing. And I kind of have to have Pikachu, you know, shoot like two more Thunder Jolts before I can actually use it. There we go. There goes Ike. Perfect. Oh yeah, let me talk about his final smash while I'm doing this battle. Final smash is called Octopus, where he just transforms to an octopus and then deals damage to opponents by just walking into them. <laughs> it's as simple as that. She thunder might might absorb. It might, but I'm not sure. Go on. Yeah, and it, Octopus is very a very simple move. The damage and range of his attacks can, of course, then be uh, increased by pressing the attack button. And that's that. And so it does 16% for the move itself. One more, one more. I grabbed him, I grabbed him. Oh crap, it's Lakitu as well. Ah oh, no, oh no. <gasps> maybe, maybe? Maybe it's my chance to shine. Yes! Time for Octopus! This is Octopus. See, see how his range like increases a little bit? when he presses the attack button. Yeah, that's that's about it, that's Octopus. So we also, sh we basically showed off everything but his taunts in this one run. Really good, really good. Kind of like, um, what was it with Ness, I think? Yeah, Ness was another one we did that with. We did that with a few characters already at this point, where we like already showed off basically all their stuff, but, like have to go into uh, training for the taunts. Best Game Watch, like I mentioned a few times already, and one of the most obscure characters, no, probably the most obscure, wow, that works, so it might be any projectile that actually works, I think it's only Ness and Lucas where the PSI magnets uh, only work with energy projectiles, well, that's good to know, <laughs> that is good to know, I kind of wanted to do um, his uh, missiles again, but at the same time, I'm not going to spend too much time worrying about that. Also, hey, we did it with not without losing a life. Wow, Game Watch's run was not as bad. Can you shut up? Oh my gosh, motorcycles. Piss me off all the time. Don't know why, I had to, why they had to exist. <laughs> They're like one of the most not useful forms of transport transportation. I don't know. I'm complaining too much. Game Watch is fun. I do like him quite a bit. Usually, he's he tends to be one of my... Um, least favorite characters in any Smash game, no matter what it is. Um, but I might put him a little bit up. I might bring him a little bit upwards, especially in Brawl, because he's really fun in Brawl. I just think he works really well with how Brawl works. I don't know, it's probably just me, but I, I just think he's a good character, now that I've changed my mind.
That's kind of funny because his his up special is called Fire, and he's jumping out of fire. I don't know. It's it's just ironic, and I like that. So with that, let's go ahead and go into training mode and check out Game Watch's taunts because that is something we still have yet to even show off. All right, training. Let's put the name in, of course. Get, get Game Watch going. All right, and let's go ahead and show off what he's got. All right, Game Watch. So uh, he's got his up taunt, a side taunt, and down taunt. There we go. <laughs> Simple as that. That's really all there is. Game Watch. Game Watch doesn't really have the most, you know, exciting taunts. Um, but they're still all right. They're simple. They're nice and simple, I guess. So I guess that's one like plus side to him. They're nice and simple. So where's he at? Uh, Game Watch, the only one we have. But, but I, I think we're gonna get a few more. Like what is it? Three more or something? I don't remember. Game, you know, Mr. Game Watch, the monochrome hero of the Game Watch series, a fellow who oozes personality. First appearing in 1980, the series were the series were the original portable game systems. The first games in the series were quite simple, but as time passed, technology evolved. The multi-screen series featured gameplay on dual screens. As the name states, the game also kept time. And the game we have, I guess it's not even a game technically, it's the Game Watch Gallery for the Game Boy. So it's not even like the Game Watch, it's the Game Boy which uh, had the Game Watch Gallery. Interesting, isn't it? Hmm. I think the DS also had something to do with Mr. Game and Watch. I don't know. But with that, that's the character. Pretty fun. <laughs> I liked it. And thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of Super Smash Bros. Brawl. In the next one, we'll be going through classic mode as the first uh, third-party character um, in the game, Snake. Mr. Solid Snake. And this is going to be pretty interesting. Because Snake's definitely... While Game Watch is obscure in how he works, um, Snake is obscure in just, I don't know, I feel like Snake's obscure in his own ways. As a fighter in Smash, you know, he belongs, but just as a character in general, he's pretty obscure. That might just be me talking nonsense, but <laughs> that's just how I feel. So uh, subscribe, like, comment, all that good stuff. Social media, including Twitchers, of course, down below in the description. I'll see you guys next time. Pop-Tart, out.